gobbled up by the Canucks. They'll play it out. Oh, there's a huge hit by Noah Alvarez right at the uh, Calgary blue line. He'll change. Alvarez on the four check. Out hops Fraser and Truman. And stealing the puck was Rock Truman. Down the right wing side. Here's Truman. Trying to get a shot away. Does. Scores! Well, Rock Truman loves playing in this quaint Henry Vinny Arena. That's his second goal in as many games here. A steal. And Truman let the shot go from my vantage point. Looked like it might have went off a Canuck player's skate. And beat Mills low stick side. Right inside the goal post. And Rock Truman gets the Kodiaks on the board first once again. And for Truman, his uh, fourth goal of the season. And the Kodiaks again have that all-important first goal. Back to McFarland, left point. They'll go across ice, Bertamini, a shot that's blocked in front. And taken there by center. Now centering pass, shot, they score. Center with the goal. It was actually Aiden Moore who had that puck in deep. And he centered it to center. And the Canucks have tied this hockey game with 103 to go in this opening period. It's 1-1. They'll get it to Brisson left point. Now in the corner for Fraser. Fraser with it. Fraser now, face-off circle, a pass to Truman. Truman, a pass, they score! Connor Gorley with a power play goal. And my! They won't come much easier than that for number 22. As he just put that long stick on it, directed the Rock Truman pass behind Mills, and the Kodiaks have a 2-1 lead as Gorley gets the power play goal. The important part of that comes with 12 seconds left in the first two-minute power play. They still have a full two-minute power play to work with now. Loves it, one-timer blocked. Now Truman will shoot, saved by Mills. Oh, it goes to the goal line and stays out. It eventually got through the pad of Mills and just lay right on the goal line. And a Canuck defender was able to get his stick on it and keep it out. Watkins up through center. That's tipped in. Bounces in front. Look out! Oh, my! It bounced. That was that puck was, was whistling off the end board. Bouncing somewhat like a ball hockey ball. And <laughs> Wilcott was... And uh, they score! Ah, oh, there's all kinds of things happening. That all started with a dump in, and that puck came rocketing off the end boards. It bounced high in the air over top of Wilcott's stick. And eventually, flailing around, the Canucks managed to knock it into an empty net. Schoenfeld was trying to bat it out of the air and get it out of the net and jumped on it. And somehow, it ended up into the net, and the Canucks have tied this at two on a... Uh, well, let's call it a non-conventional goal. Do or not. If it did, it was stopped by Wilcott. Here's Moore now. He winds up, shoots. Oh, what a save by Logan Wilcott as he robs Aiden Moore, who looks to the low-hanging rafters as Wilcott dove out and made his best of the night. Giving out treats to the kids. Oh, my, is that not offside? They score. Walicki on this near side. And the Canucks have their first lead of the night. Boy. I was talking about Halloween. Got a bit excited about the Halloween candy given away by Lamb Ford, but that, uh, that looked offside from my vantage point, but perhaps not. Fourth goal of the season for Walicki. And the Canucks have their first lead of the season against the Kodiaks in three games. Off the faceoff. A shot saved by Mills. Rebound side of the net. There's a shot. They score. Oh, they wave it off. Oh, 
now Tyler Jensen is calling it interference. Side. He'll chip it ahead to Truman. Truman lost it. Now back to Fraser. Fraser pass in front. Shot by Gow and what a left pad saved by Mills. Here's Goddess now. Shoveled it ahead. Canucks take it and come two on one. Here's Clark down the left wing side. Clark scores. Second of the night and eighth of the season for Dylan Clark as that became a two on one. And Clark with the deke to beat Logan Wilcott. And the Canucks now have a two goal advantage here. This is a huge power play, would be a huge understatement. There's a shot. They score! That went off Gorley's head. Oh, did they wave it off? Oh my, the referees are discussing. That went right off Gorley's head. I don't know why they would wave this off. Gor Gorley was standing. It was not his stick. It was his head. It was. <laughs> and he's a tall guy. That shot was going well over top of the net. Went off his head. Yes, it's a goal. Well, they took some time to decide, but Connor Gorley gets his second of the hockey game in a unconventional fashion. His second power play goal, his third of the season. <laughs> and the Kodiaks have cut the lead to four to three. Managed to stay on his feet and center the puck. Oh, look out, Robert Kincaid head first into the Kodiaks bench. And now we got ourselves a hullabaloo. That's not going to sit well. And Robert Kincaid is still down. Hunched over, went down head first into the bottom portion of the boards. And being attended to by trainer Lee Catcher and with 418 left to go, the Kodiaks might be about to go on a major power play here. The Condor, one-timer, saved by Mills, rebound, Truman, shot, stop, they score! The captain, Callum Gow, and the Kodiaks have tied this at four. As Gow gets his team-leading seventh goal of the season, Kodiaks third goal in the power play. And now plays it back. Watkins up ahead for Barker. Barker down the left wing side. Walks in a pass. He scores. Well, I thought it was going to be a pass. It turned out to be a shot. And low glove side, just inside the post, on the far side of the net. To beat Logan Wilcott, and Barker scores a big one against his old team. His eighth of the season. And the Kodiaks lead this uh, trail, this one I should say, 5-4, with a minute six to go. And the Canucks are going to win this hockey game. Kodiaks got the face-off win. They got the push towards the net. But the Canucks hold on and win this one 5-4. And our Fortis Alberta postgame show is next. From the Hometown Realty Broadcast Center, this is Wild Rose Co-op Kodiaks Hockey on New Country, 98.1 FM.